It's Switzerland's national day and some of New Zealand's Swiss community are dancing in Stratford Town Hall. From Dairy Farm to Dance Floor, they come for a Swiss night that recalls to them the Alps they left behind. There's many a pretty Swiss miss here who can't remember Switzerland, but older couples can, and they foot it as their fathers used to do. It's long after midnight by all the Swiss watchers, but the dance goes on. Over 2,000 Swiss now live in the province of Taranaki. The quiet town hall is transformed by their tunes, costumes and national emblem. guest of honour is the Swiss consul, Mr. Tyler, but his hosts are no longer fellow countrymen. It's only for one night in 12 months that the dancing farmers bring Switzerland to Stratford. On board SS Hororata, Auckland teams of the St John Ambulance Brigade hold shipboard competitions for the first time in New Zealand. It's all part of their training to give first aid anywhere, anytime. The accident being staged is a sailor's fall to the hatch cover. Suffering from spinal injuries, he can't be left lying, but must be taken at once to hospital on ship or shore. Nursing has always been one of women's special skills, and their teams compete against the men. For the winning team, there's a cut, but credit goes to all. This is one of four heavy shunters that don't go ch ch. It's a diesel mechanical engine built in England for use on New Zealand railways and weighing 29 tons. The gears resemble a motor car's and the driver operates from an enclosed all-weather cab. At full power, she can haul a 500-ton train at seven miles an hour. Gertrude is one of the old-fashioned shunters that smoke. She doesn't think it's quite nice, anyone else taking her place, and she's going off with a huff, a puff. Shunting engines aren't the only new additions, for new electric trains are being put into service. This multiple unit brings Pai Kokoriki within 52 minutes of Wellington City. A unit of one motor coach and two trailers carries 200 passengers in comfortable riding with very little sway. Its electric cleanliness makes it well suited on a line with so many tunnels. Stopping at all stations on its 24 mile trip into Wellington, this new train can travel at a maximum speed of 60 miles an hour. As districts expand, so must the train services. And for quick, smooth handling of crowds, nothing can beat the electric train. Victor Barner, five times world table tennis champion, has been hitting the celluloid ball harder and more accurately than most for over 20 years. Just to even things up, he plays more ordinary mortals from behind his back. Accompanying him on this present tour of New Zealand is Richard Bergman, three times world champion, who believes in taking life easily. He forces his opponent to play to the left of the table. This is done by applying spin to the ball. He serves again, and this time the return is out to the right of the table. Concentration is needed for this sizzling trick serve. Boring, isn't it? To Barner and Bergman, this is only fooling. Now they're getting down to business. Bergman wins the serve.
This is a far cry from Victorian drawing room ping pong, and modern table tennis has become a spectacular and popular sport. 25 countries competed in the international meeting at Stockholm earlier this year, Barner and Bergman representing England. Table tennis in the modern manner, played by two of the world's best, Victor Barner and Richard Bergman. <laughs> 